Floating caissons are prefabricated concrete box-like elements with rectangular cells that are suited for marine and harbor projects, such as ports, breakwaters, wharves, berthing facilities and docks, dry docks and slipways, renas and container terminals. Floating caissons are commonly termed as box caissons and are cast in chaos. The term Odin comes from the fact that, up in completion, they are transported to their now position by towing boats and their cellular cavities are led with granular material, so as to firmly found it on the leveled underwater layer. The caisson production cycle commences with the construction of the foundation slab, which requires the deployment of formwork crews, reinforcement bar placement crews, and concrete pouring crews on the Oding Dree dock. Upon completion, secondary reinforcement steel is placed, cheap, horizontal bar placement, rebar overlapping, rebar ties, and the concreting phase of the main caisson body may commence. It should be noted that due to the standardized shape of caissons and repetitive nature of the works, since caissons are always constricted in batches, the concreting process is most commonly executed with the use of the slip forming construction technique. Slip form is a sliding form construction method, which is used to construct vertical concrete structures, and the reader is referred to for further information. Generally, the concreting and slip forming process comprises three subphases slip form assembling phase, slip forming phase, and slip form dismantling phase. In the assembling phase, metal formwork boxes are inserted in each caisson's cell by a specialized crew, followed by the installation of the outer formwork walls. All form units are leveled for both internal and external faces, and the yoke units are completed by installing the yoke channels across fuels. Then, the preparation for the slip forming phase commences by conducting a safety check on all hydraulic systems and Xing all handrail timbers and protection boards of the scaffolding. After the couple tie-in of the now survey, slip forming may commence. The initial concreting phase comprises the concrete pouring in layers of 200 millimeters. Concrete of offshore structure are prepared using locally available materials, and compressive strength is between 25 to 65 MPa. It is extremely significant to construct durable structures because not only do offshore structural maintenance is an economical but also seriously difficult in hostile environment. After the work on the caissons was completed, the next thing to do is to transport it to the design locations. 
Thanks to the box design, this caissons can float on the water, but moving it correctly is a big challenge. To transport the caissons to the necessary location is very difficult because of their extremely large size. With a length of 55 meters, a beam of 45 meters, and a maximum draft of 26 meters, to be able to move the caissons, four large capacity ships are needed. The caissons will be towed to a location with deep water so they can be loaded onto giant barges. The barge used in this project is the Blue Marlin, with a length of 224.6 meters, a beam of 63 meters, a maximum draft of 29.3 meters, and a sail depth of 10 meters. Its maximum speed is 14.5 knots, operating range is 25,000 mn, and has a capacity of 73,000 tn. It can carry up to 8 caissons per move. This port expansion project required 22 caissons, and thanks to the application of modern machinery and technology, the construction speed was surprisingly faster.
the key wall construction at MPS using Quezon's cast on land. Since the successful opening of the new MPS Terminal 3 at Tima Port in June of this year, with 700 meter of key wall, first two new berths, the project has continued to perform ahead of its deadline, and today the project team are handing over to the operations another part of the waterfront at the third new berth, 220 meters of the 300 meters key wall. This new stretch of waterfront is being delivered seven months ahead of the scheduled completion in June 2020. With this achievement, the terminal now consists of 920 meters of available berth, 43 hectare of stacking space, 25 hectare of common user area, and all required facilities. A trench to receive the 74 caissons is dredged in the seabed 19 meters deep. The caissons are cast on land with each completed unit using 1,000 cubic meters of concrete. The caissons weigh 2,600 tons each and are moved onto a floating dock by rolling them on inflatable airbags, pneumatic bladders holding up hundreds of tons of concrete and steel. I also had to exclaim at this wonder and amazement. It is truly amazing and extremely modern technology. They were able to transport the caissons faster and easier. Once on the floating dock, they are moved near to the key wall location, and the floating dock is sunk allowing the caissons to float. Tugs move the caissons into the required position, and they are deliberately filled with water to sink them. The caissons are filled with sand and the deck of the key cast on top. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or new topics to discuss, please let me know by commenting below the video. Thank <laughs> you.